In less than an hour, NASA's 300 million mile journey from America's shore to Jezero Crater on Mars. Hitching a ride on the Perseverance rover is an exciting technology demonstration. The Mars Ingenuity helicopter. Now, if successful, it would mark the first time humans have taken powered flight on another planet. The name Perseverance, which was given to this robot by Alex Mather, who's a seventh grader in Virginia. Um, this is all about perseverance and going to Mars, as you said, going to Mars is all about persevering in general. Doing it now is more persevering than ever before. Real quick, we're, we've got to launch a course counting down. How are you feeling? Uh, well, nervous as always. I'm a little nervous, but I always get nervous before all of my 400 launches. So wow. Do you get a little nervous? Why do you get nervous? Well, you know, a rocket is such an incredibly powerful and complex machine. Everything has to go right, nothing can go wrong, and it's just, it never gets old, it's always the same. It's always exciting. Yes. And this is a particularly exciting Eight, mission. Seven, okay. six, five, five, four, engine ignition, two, one, zero. Right. And liftoff. As the countdown to Mars continues, the perseverance of humanity launching the next generation of robotic explorers to the Red Planet. And Atlas TU has gone to close loop control. Coming up on 30 seconds into flight, the RD-180 is throttling down as expected. Engine response looks good. And Mach 1, Atlas 5 is now supersonic. And passing 45 seconds into flight, the vehicle is now passing through max Q, maximum dynamic pressure. And we have a good indication of SRB jettison of all four SRBs. And the vehicle has gone to closed loop guidance. We have good indication of payload fairing jettison. And we have good indication of Atlas Centaur separation. Uh, RL-10 operating parameters look good. Chamber pressures are stable. This will be the first of two burns for today's mission. Uh, this first burn will pro be approximately seven minutes in length. So, Mick, tell us about the two burns required here, and we're actually coming up on the end of the first one. Uh, so the first burn gets us into that park orbit we talked about. We, we've lifted off, we've left Earth, we've got into a park orbit around Earth right now. And while we're in that uh, park orbit, we will perform some maneuvers to kind of roll uh, Mars Perseverance and the Centaur and uh, coast during that time, uh, basically setting itself up looking at the sun and away from the sun to control the thermal environments that uh, are on Mars 2020 during this coast period. That coast period will allow us to coast around uh, into the position that we need so that we can have that second firing to get the velocity needed to head off into Mars. Successful separation of Mars 2020 with the Perseverance Rover. 